Hey, what's up everybody? This is Angry Hippie Lady, and we are back for another episode of Fallout New Vegas, and I did a little bit of research, and basically I don't want any of these things. I like the robotic things, because, well, they're better. Um, there's not, there's a little bit of a difference, um, in between the two, like with the heart, you can be poisoned. With the spine, I can't remember. I don't have it up in front of me right now. I just closed it though. Um, but overall, the mechanical you things are a bit better. Services. As far as I know, I can come back here at any time. Um, Concerned about the Let's look at this. Alrighty, let's do this. All right, just try to relax. This won't hurt. Unless your sense of self is especially vulnerable. Um, the objects. Uh, I shall to redefine the traits you selected when you created your character. Me, you only do this once. Are you sure you want to? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I can choose two traits. Oh my gosh! I finally get to redo all this. Um. You have a fear of enclosed spaces, probably because of the mutants. When outside. Built to destroy. The flamer that burns twice. Uh, all weapons have a plus three chance to do critically hit, but equipment condition decays 15% faster. Err. Um, from 6 a.m. to 12 p.m., but suffered from 1 to 6. See, I don't sleep and I don't pay attention to time, so that wouldn't be too great. Um, I mean, I guess I could. While using guns and energy weapons, you fire 20% more quickly. Your shots are 20% less accurate. Look, I'm already inaccurate as I'll get out, so... Four eyes is okay, good natured. We're going to solving problems with your mind, the violence, you gain plus five to barter, medicine, repair, and science, and speech. But have a negative five to all that stuff. Maybe. Um, definitely not picking melee again, because melee was my, my thing before. I'm going to go with... Order and good natured, I think. Let me let me quickly look at everything else. Um, I don't let my health go down too much. I don't use action points. Um, uh, I'm addicted to camps and they'll last twice as long. But after thirty, you can kiss experience perks and skill points goodbye. What? Okay, that's that doesn't sound anyway. Um I think level thirty used to be the max. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. Not experience, you gain plus five points to every skill. You suffer ten percent experience gain from now on. Meh. That would be cool. Anyway, um small frame, this one agility, trigger discipline, fire twenty percent more slowly, but twenty percent more accurate. Unleash the most bizarre and silly elements of the post upon an outshore faint of heart, serious or the serious of temperament. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. Done. Yes. I feel good about that. Do you require some additional services? Um, let's look at right. this. Cause there were other things to do. Basic. What does this do? I am completely healthy. I am completely healthy. Like... I am completely healthy. My character is happy. Look at that. I don't know if I've ever seen a smile on that face before. Even at the start of game. I don't know if I saw that smile on that face before. That's amazing. You require some additional services? Could I have done that like this whole time? Right. Just over and over? Oh, I can change my face. I didn't even know that was a thing. Did I do this at the beginning of the game? Did I? 
Uh, I don't know. All these faces are kind of meh. No. Maybe we'll go with that. Can I customize? Oh, I can. I can customize this. Oh my gosh. Heavy. Can I? Okay, guys. I need to let you go for a second because this is going to take a while. I can already tell you that. I'll... I'll... BRB. I totally didn't sit here for 30 minutes working on this. I still don't like her. Anyway, we're done. <laughs> yes, I want that to be my face. Yes. Oh, I accidentally clicked it. You require some additional services? Muggy's freaking out again. And rightly so, I should think. Alright then. Okay, uh haircut. <gasps> I can change my hair. I'll be right back. Okay, so I like this. It's kind of like how I used to put my hair up when I had long hair. I don't miss it either. I kind of like the hair that I have now. Hair color, oh my lord. Oh lord, there's, there's too many colors. Rosewood. That might actually... What was the chestnut? No. Rosewood was my favesies. It's a little bit more red than I would go with. And I could change it, but I'm not about to do all that. Yes. You require some additional services. Alright, let's see what else we can do here. Um, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Get a haircut, swap body parts, install implants. What? Wow. Speed wall crouch. Wow. Okay. Do nothing. All right. So as far as I know, I can come back here at any time. Oh, please, please. And um, do the stuff. If I really wanted to. Alright, so Might I be of service, let's see sir? if this guy has um regained some money. Oh he he has. Okay. That's good. Cause I gotta sell a bunch of things. Um that I, I don't wanna sell in front of you guys because it takes forever. <laughs> so, so once again, there's gonna be a lot of cuts in this episode. This is the last episode in this area, as far as I know. Um so, yeah, that's, that's that, um, whoa, okay, that's just carton of cigarettes, that's why there's so many, um, but yeah, it's gonna take me a while to do all this, as you can see, there's a lot of things that need to be sold, and that means that I'm gonna be sitting here waiting over and over and over. Actually, let's leave special things in here. Alright, so I will see you guys in a few. Like I said, it's going to take a little bit. Yeah. Alright, so I have sold everything that I could. Um, at least that I wanted to. I've modded a couple of things. The sink is completely out of money. Again. Um, I've got the stealth suit on for now. I stored the other suit away somewhere. I don't need it right now. Um, I... What? How is this the first time I'm seeing this? Is that the first time I ever looked at my ammo tab? I have all this stuff I don't know what to do with. I don't I don't know what that I don't know what all this is about. Maybe I can't use those things because of the weapon I have selected. What does this weapon even look like? 
Anyway, so my current quest is this. Let's talk to him about this. I don't know what this is because it won't show me where to go. <laughs> um, and I think everything else is for the regular world. So we're done. This is it. We are finished with this area. <laughs> And, like I said, I'm pretty sure we can come back if we really wanted to. Oh, it's red. They hate me, I'm pretty sure. They are angry. The lobotomite returns. Our lobotomite. Is Dr. Moby's been denominated into scrap metal and voice module parts as we hoped? No, I found my brain, and now you and I are going to settle things. Um, do for your lobotomy, Klein. Just the pacification field is down. Guess what happens now? Yes, we're gonna. Settle I things. recommend watching your tone with me, lobotomite. Now, your brain, hand it over, or we'll extract it again. I'm not handing my brain over. Fight? I, I've never been in a fight. What, uh, what, what, what do I? Ah! Colleagues, think tank, alert, alert! We are under attack. Okay, I could have done that better. Okay, I just found out that I could just continuously fire instead of constantly. Clicking. Injecting oh my god. The uh the stealth suit does things for me. Doctor O. Oh, these are the people that I needed to talk to. Oh well, they're dead now. Oh, come on. This guy's almost dead. There we go. I don't like that it automatically injects stim packs into me because I don't have that many of those. So I might actually switch it out even after all this time. Fighting over. Uh, take that, 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 just because it doesn't weigh anything and we don't have that much space. These guys have all the things. You know what? Just we're gonna take it all. I don't even care. We're gonna take it all and then we'll go store it somewhere. It'll all be okay. I don't remember those being there. Pretty sure I would have remembered that. Okay, so I killed all those people. Did I do the right thing? I'm honestly not all that sure if I did. Did I search this guy? Okay, I think I did, yeah. Either that or he just had nothing on him. So I did a thing. <laughs> and, uh... I really don't, I really don't know how to feel. I'm trying to get to the think tank just so I can... There. As it had been in the years before the Great War, Big Mountain, the Big Empty, became home to one of the brightest minds of the 23rd century. The courier watched over the Big Empty for years to come, caring for it and keeping its discovery safe until they were needed to help others. Which had always been Big Mountain's purpose. Past the laboratories and science, it had always been intended as a place to build the future of all mankind. 
The courier had scoured much of the big empty, although secrets still remained in the crater's depths. Perhaps that was for the best, however. Curiosity, while sometimes rewarded for its efforts, often proves to be equally dangerous. Dr. Mobius continued his research undisturbed in the Forbidden Zone. As much as he had attempted to create better scorpions, he tried the same with humanity, with considerably less success. These failures didn't bother him over much. Once the rush of Mentats wore off, he forgot he had failed in any event. After all, the bright young mind who had come to visit him in the Forbidden Zone had already exceeded his expectations. The sink atop the dome bustled with the voices of a small town, constantly chirping, arguing, and snarling at each other. Still, this all happened productively in the interests of its new owner. The Sync Central Intelligence Unit discovered, despite its inversion code, it was comforted by the sense of community the other personalities gave it. The biological research station, obsessed with seeding everything in sight, requested a transfer to the X-22 Botanical Garden, so that it might, in its own words, sensually fertilize the garden's smooth contours. The garden sent back a polite refusal, saying it had prior commitments with a vault it had helped infect before the war. The book shoot continued to devour all seditious materials until it nearly choked on a paperclip. It adamantly maintained it was a Chinese paperclip, and the whole thing had been an elaborately orchestrated assassination attempt. Whatever the reason, it slowed down for a while, carefully appraising each document and clipboard that came to it. The light switches continued to bicker and flicker. This persisted until the day someone dropped a flashlight in the sink, and the two of them united in their hatred of the showboat. One of them eventually transferred to the Lightwave Dynamics plant and began a long, unrequited affair with one of the holograms. The scene continued to ruthlessly scrub any particulate matter that came near it. Eventually, it gained access to the Magneto Hydraulics plant and nearly flooded all the big empty in an attempt to scrub the crater clean. Once it learned of the innovative toxins plant, however, it gained new purpose. It sought to develop antitoxins to flush into its drains and counteract the poisons bleeding into the soil. The toaster continued its psychotic spree, reducing all appliances in range to scrap electronics and spare parts. After one of its more psychotic episodes, however, the other sync personalities decided enough was enough and dumped the toaster in a bathtub. <laughs> Sparking and hissing, the toaster swore its enemies would rue the day when they had bread and no way to toast it. Muggy did his best to collect coffee cups. Although in his quest, he accidentally trapped himself in Hague's village. It might have been the end for poor Mani. Except he found it peaceful there, tidying up the kitchens of the think tank professors back when they had been flesh and bone. Well, except for Dr. O, who was an asshole for having created Muggy in the first place. <laughs> Muggy left O's house deliberately dirty, punishing the dishes and cups that lived there in blind revenge for serving Dr. O. Blind O. Jefferson, with sounds the courier brought him, created a symphonic counter-frequency that saved Big Mountain from Sonic Invasion in 2910. If you didn't hear about it, good. It was rumored by the other personalities that he had a brief fling with the light switches. Oh. Although he forgot their names once too often and was soon left in the dark as punishment. Autodoc, always gentle and methodical, kept sewing up the courier in all the right places when the skin split open from repeated wear and tear. The Autodoc was just glad to have purpose again. 
It heard its simpler brothers and sisters who got shipped to the Sierra Madre bored out of their skulls in that toxic dead city. In time, the Autodoc found a way to deactivate the Y-17 trauma harnesses, releasing the corpses they had held prisoner for almost 200 years. As the courier ran through the X-8 facility multiple times, the computers analyzed the test subject's movements. Rather than performing a superficial observation, they realized the subject barely knew what communism was, or even what a high school was. This confused them for a time, until the facility finally realized that its research had succeeded. So it let its cyber dogs out into the wastes to help protect small communities from physical aggression rather than communist propaganda. The infiltration program in X-13 felt spent, having repeatedly upgraded the stealth suit until it could upgrade it no more. It felt warm, fulfilled, and a bit sluggish. It realized not long after the stealth suit had left it without so much as a note on the nightstand. So the infiltration program sent out robo-brains into the wastes, looking for its wayward technology. It eventually found Repcon HQ and set up a new research center, testing and murdering fiends who kept breaking into the facility. The courier left the brain at the big empty. A strange thing to say, but it was the truth. Brains are less important than they may seem. When the courier's body finally passed, the brain was saddened. It kept on remembering the vessel that had once contained it. Wait. Even at the end, when it started alive. to fail, however, the brain resisted going into a floating chassis like the think tank. It never said why. Perhaps it was out of respect for the courier's body. All things must come to an end. And to hang on to the past is something that's not to be undertaken lightly. The think tank basement, filled with the lobotomized robotical frames of the doctors, now served as a graveyard. The monitors had recorded the battle in its entirety, including the think tank's final shrill, terrified screams, whimpers, and pleas for mercy. They broadcast these humiliating last moments as a warning to anyone approaching the perimeter that other smarty pants were not welcome. The courier was the inheritor of the Big Empty, and there was room for only one will in the halls of the Think Tank Dome. There is an expression in the wasteland, Old World Blues. It refers to those so obsessed with the past, they can't see the present, much less the future, for what it is. They stare into the what was, eyes like pilot lights, guttering and spent as the realities of their world continue on around them. Science is a long, steady progression into the future. What may seem a sudden event often isn't felt for years, even centuries to come. In the times following the Second Battle of Hoover Dam, however, Old World Blues took on a new meaning. Where once it was viewed as a form of sadness, nostalgia, it became an expression describing the potential for the future. It can be easy to see science as evil. Technology unchecked as the source of all ills. All misfortunes. With the courier at the helm, science became a beacon for the future. There was old world blues. And new world hope. And hope ruled the day at Big Mountain. We could say more. But the stories in the Big Empty speak for themselves. Now armed with the transportal ponder, the courier could return to the dome at any time and crack open the secrets of the Big Empty one by one. The sink sat vigilant, waiting for its master to return, shoes covered in Mojave dust. Only one road yet remained, and it was one the courier had to walk alone. What? That was amazing. Outsmarted. We've acquired the big mountain transport. Transport. 
Ponder thing is capable of transporting you and you alone between the Mohav Wasteland and Big MT. To return to the Mohav or go back to Big MT from the Mohav, simply equip the thing and as you would any weapon. Pull the trigger and away you go. Note that it won't work in interiors or in combat situations and is totally incapable of harming your enemies. <laughs> <laughs> is that the jukebox? The jukebox is like partying over here. Please, please, please. Who's the flatware bitch now? Oh. Oh gosh. Um. Don't what? I have a mug? Oh, I don't have any mugs. Okay. Okay. I think I think I'm done here. Um, let's see. Do I have Yeah, I don't have anything else. All right. Um, well, items. And uh where is the thing? Where is the thing that I just got? Oh, here it is. Your eyes that convert salt water into fresh. Oh, oh device. Yep, wait. yep, yep, yep. Penguins? Need to go out here. Am I gonna be back with my friends? I will be so happy to see them, but they're not here. <laughs> Why aren't they here? Oh my gosh. No, not local. Yeah, Cast and the dog are gone. Oh no. This is terrible, terrible news. Guys, we have finished Old World, Old World Blues. And I am extremely happy. Um, I've got to walk somewhere. I gotta go somewhere and drop some stuff off. It's gonna take forever. Ugh. But, um, yeah, thank you all for watching. It's been crazy. Um, I should've just left some stuff there. Let's go back. <laughs> um, it's been absolutely insane, and I can't- I, I may be teared up a little bit just a little bit okay let's drop this off um but yeah i'm gonna leave some stuff here so that i can continue on on my journeys and um yeah i don't know what we're gonna do next because i've been so focused on doing this that i have no plans <laughs> oh i still got five more to five more wait to get rid of there we go all right so thank you, oh yep, thank you so much for being here and we're going to continue our journey in the Mohav after um, I go get Cass and whatever the dog's Who name do was. Who do you think is cuter, Dr. Klein or Dr. Boros? Are they really not here? I left them here. They, they would have been waiting for god knows how long, like months. But yeah, peace out everyone.